Hi, I'm Joe, and I want to show you this uh, uh, Google Earth flight simulator here. And this is my SciTech uh, flight stick. It's just excellent. It really is. Uh, it's an AV8R1, and uh, it only costs me three dollars. And it can actually control uh, another flight stick there, and uh, has plenty of good switches on it. As you can see here, you can uh, select landing lights, I guess, or flaps and gear, something else, maybe the engine off and on, the flight simulator. You got the throttles in the back here. It cost me three dollars. Works really good with the flight simulator. Should be doing this. This is the uh, Google Earth flight simulator. And I was just looking at this. That's pretty cool. That's KPHL Philadelphia right here. I'll give it some thrust. It's the SR22 model. I think you got the center line there, yeah. Yeah. Good. Watching the airspeed, 90. Yeah. KPHL. This is a real fine flight stick here. It works excellent with the uh, flight simulator. Google Earth Flight Simulator, it's pretty steady with that. I have this other flight stick over here, it's the Microsoft Force Feedback, um, probably the second edition one. And it works, but the throttle doesn't work on it. And uh, it gives me these little wing spins, like uh, wing stalls, it spins into the ground and stuff really easily. But with this, this is really cool. Nice and steady. The SciTech. Um, it's almost like it has trim built into it. I don't have any trim control on the computer for this. Uh, could have configured it, I guess. But uh, with Google Earth, um, that's pretty steady, actually. Um, i got to recommend this thing. Uh, SciTech uh, AV8R1. You have to add a little trim to it, but not much, you know. You don't have to move it that much to keep it flying pretty well. you got to recommend it. Uh, SciTech uh, flight stick uh, with the uh, Google Earth simulator. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. See you. Bye-bye.